Yeah, my name is Jimmy Bozeman. This is my wife Renee. Uh, we're part of YWAM Emerge out of Colorado Springs. That's where we're based. And uh, we're part of a team that's come to build an aquaponics for uh, this orphanage here in Guatemala. It's, uh, it's called uh, Casa Angelina. And uh, they, uh, they take care of about 150 kids and uh, widows and, and orphans and stuff like that. So uh, we've come to help them have a, they, they wanted aquaponics to uh, supplement their food intake, which is about, the bill is like $15,000 a month. So what we have behind us here is we have a, uh, we have a greenhouse that's a 30 by 60 that we're building a aquaponics in, combination of a float and a media system. The system was designed by Matthew Kelly, who is uh, part of YWAM Emerge uh, in, in in uh, conjunction with uh, Earthwise, uh, a company that uh, helps do businesses missions and uh, do things like this for orphans and, uh, you know, out in third world. And the, the nutrients for the for the plants, and then the plants turn it from nitrates to nitrites, and then clean it up for back to come back to the fish. Okay, here we have the uh, the two fish tanks, uh, two one thousand gallon tanks, which are aerated, and uh, the water flowing back into them is where we keep the fish. And then right down here, the system that controls the air for the fish tanks and for the float systems is a uh, two two blowers down here that are set up on the system that runs around the tank. And we use tap and dive to run the, run the air stones inside the tank and also inside the bed. We have the, the two, two, stealth, two motors set up here individually, one as a backup. We have ball valves on them where we can shut one down if it goes bad and we can turn the ball valves on the other one and start up and start it up and not run out of air because if we run out of air we, use, we lose fish in about four or five hours. So also underneath there we have we have the uh, water pump which controls the water coming out of this system right here. We fall valves turn on and off so the tanks can be separated and we took the, the fish waste and uh, the water out of the tanks comes over here through this system and runs into this this is a barrel separator, like a baffle separator. The water comes up and it hits the uh, bucket inside and gets steel around it. And then the solid waste that doesn't dissolve runs to the bottom and is able to be drained out. Then it flows over into a swirl barrel that swirls about two thirds up. It swirls around and then at the top, the water gets steel and the solid waste runs to the bottom. And then out of that, it overflows into the system into the uh, float system. Okay, right here is we have, this is coming from the two air pumps back up at the fish tanks. Comes through here, this ball valve runs, is on each side, there's four of them running down the side of the float system. And this controls the amount of air that we have in the system. And coming up here, underneath the floats, what we have is this will have, uh, when the plants are maturing, their roots will be down here. And then this air stone right here produces air for them to help, to help them to grow faster when you give them oxygen. And then they've got the nitrates and nitrites and the bacteria that's doing its thing underneath. Also back down here, we have the, uh, we have the water system running to the media beds. Now this is coming down and splitting off. This is running to the far side and this is running to this side. We have a shutoff valve back down the way, which we have in both systems. This right here is a, is a water control flow valve that to help get our regulation right into, into our media systems. What we have is a, a flood and drain system. And the uh, way that works is, is that you see the water here is uh, flooding and these things are calibrated to a point that this thing is somewhere around an hour and a half flood and drain. And then the drain is a bell siphon which has a stand pipe inside. This is, we're, we're now using about an inch and a half pipe. 
which is taking this down to about a 14 minute drain. When I go to this uh, three quarter pipe, it runs it up to like an eight minute drain. And this bell fits down on it. And then we had some problems with this because the system was so, it was so strong because we did a P-trap underneath to help create, to help create the uh, siphon because uh, this, the flow into the three, three inch line was uh, too fast and it kept sucking air back. So we created a pre-trap to create the siphon. But we had a problem with this thing trapping. It would not overtake the P-trap. So actually, uh, God in the middle of the night gave me an answer about a, about a little flip valve that I had done in a rust, rust pump, which is all it is is uh, one of the gentlemen working here, uh, Sergio, donated his rubber boot and he cut me out six of these things because we have six systems here, two inch circle. And then I needed something that would work on the inside and my wife, Renee, had her rubber boots that uh, literally had a little old diamond shape on it which created a bell. So when I fastened that to it, it just literally created a suction. So I drilled a hole and then the way you adjust this is you uh, get the pressure and work with each siphon to where this, when the suction starts building up in there and it, it had to release the air so that it would hold the bell, hold the housing, and when it released the air, then all of a sudden when it starts siphoning, it would suck and just pull this down tight and then the siphon would kick in. And that's how we flood and drain the media system, feeding them probably six to eight times a day with nutrient water. Okay, which, uh, you're looking at the beginning of the uh, float system now where you put in all the sprouts that you've started and this is newborn. And as they grow and get bigger, they're transferred from the small ones into the bigger ones because they need more growing space. And the nitri nitrates and nit nitrites that are running through the system and the bacteria that's underneath is uh, helping these grow when they have, they've got probably nine inches of water that the roots just literally grow free in here and uh, the bacteria and everything gets all over the roots and having that freedom allows them to grow faster, 30% faster and, uh, and bigger. Then if you, they were in the ground, it takes only 10%, five to 10% of the water to grow into, in this system, in this flow system, for a head of lettuce that it takes to grow in the ground. Now the way this thing works, it's actually one big bed and right Right up under me, we've got a pipe that attaches the two. We've got a bulk valve in there, a big three-inch pipe that runs through here and attaches its system. So the water just literally runs right on through and comes through and it comes right around and then they're, they're still growing. And as you, uh, they get bigger as you go. And then at, at the far end is where they reach their uh, full growth and that's where the harvesting done. So on the right side is the planting. And on the left side is the harvesting, and behind it there is where they uh, they put they plant seeds and get the sprouts to kick up before they put them in the system. Okay, now we're at the end of the flow system here where the standpipe is. This standpipe right here controls, you cut it to the height that you want your water to for your floats. Literally, it just controls it and it overflows down the line. And then if you want to shut the system down, you have a standpipe that's taller, and it literally stops the flow of the water. Now, every bit of this flows out and runs down into a three-inch line that's running down and running the full length of the system out to the sump tank. Okay, what we have here is we have our uh, sump tank for the sump pump. It's pumping about, uh, it's a 20, 20, roughly a 2,500 gallon per hour uh, pump that's pumping the water back to the fish. Now, the lines run down from the float valve, from the flow system down in here is running continuous and this other line, and one that's over there, is running off the media system, which is running off the siphons. And that runs down into the sump tank, and it's got a little flapper valve that turns on the, the water level, and turns it on and turns it off whenever the thing shuts on and off. Now that uh, basically sums up the system and everything. This is uh, Jimmy and Renee again, just uh, saying our goodbyes and our thanks to everybody. Everybody here in Guatemala that's treated us just literally like kings and like, you know, and queens. You know, it's just been great the way they've taken care of us and uh, welcomed us. So we, and also we would like to thank our supporters 
and everybody that's been involved with us to help us get us here to do this and uh, so that we can keep doing this further for God's work, you know, and we thank God for having the privilege to be able to do this. And it's all God's glory anyway. Thank you.